Hi everyone, my name is Julia Tong. I'm a physical therapist at Breakthrough Physical Therapy and today I have a quick little upper back and neck mini break workout for you to do during breaks from work. It just takes about 10 minutes and it's easy to slip in either at the beginning, middle, or end of your day. A lot of people ask me, oh, what can I do about my posture? I feel like I just sit all day and I'm slumped at a desk and leaning forward and it really, I have a lot of strain in my neck and upper back. So here's just a quick set of a few exercises that I like to use to help kind of alleviate those upper back symptoms. Um, one of the main things that I tell people though is ideally every 10 to 15 minutes while you're at work, you just do a little bit of a shoulder roll backwards, maybe rotate side to side in your seat even. You don't even have to stand up, but really just remind your body that you should be kind of in this more upright posture instead of slumped forward. So the more often you can just get a little motion in your body, the better, okay? So, but here's a few, this is a little bit of a 10 minute focused set of exercises that you can do to help manage specifically those upper back and neck symptoms. So, here we go. So the first exercise is gonna be down on the ground. I call it a thoracic spine open book, and it's really gonna help you get some neck and upper back rotation, which are something we could all use a little bit more of. And when I do this, I usually get a few crickle crackles in my back, so that's nothing to be concerned about unless it's associated with pain. So, looks like this. You lay on your side, bend your knees up to keep your lower back nice and solid, and you can use a pillow here underneath your head if you want, but you're going to have your arms out in front, shoulders away from ears, and then follow your hand as you open up like a book. Inhale, and then you can exhale back. So I usually do 10 on each side. And if you can't touch the ground behind you with this arm here, that's totally fine. Oftentimes people are pretty stiff in this motion. And you'll likely find that you have one direction that's a little bit more stiff than the other. It's five there, I think. Sometimes I'm not very good at counting and talking at the same time. Inhale, exhale, that's six. Really try and rotate your chest open. Follow your hand with your eyes. Seven. Eight. Nine. And... Ten. Okay, so then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And I'll show you from the side view this time. So, same thing, laying on your side. And just open up, inhale. Exhale as you come back. Inhale as you open. And this side is always stiffer for me, but that's okay. Just breathe into it. And it's important not to shrug your shoulder up here, so get your shoulders down throughout the whole motion. And I think that's four. Sometimes counting is not my strong suit, but doing one extra or one less won't make or break you, so it's fine. Six. Seven, and if it feels good, you can just stay open. Take a few inhales here. And then close again. And two more. Nine. Ten. So the next one is going to be another one to try and get that mobility through your upper back. So it's going to be a cat cow or cat camel. So you start on all fours and then to go into the cow, sink your shoulder blade or sink your back between your shoulder blades, look up, inhale. And for the cat, stretch up, arch your back. So trying to get as much motion through that back as possible. So inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. 
Sanctuary three. And four. Really let your back sink between your shoulder blades. And five. And six. And seven. Try and keep those shoulders away from your ears as much as possible. Two more. Last one, ten. Okay, so that's the cat cow. So the last few exercises are going to be down on your stomach on the ground, and so it's going to be I's, T's, and W's prone, which means on your stomach. So I have a little towel roll here to put under my forehead just so my face isn't planted in the ground because, you know, that's kind of nice. So you're going to lay on the ground with your towel or with your forehead on the towel here. You're going to have your arms down by your sides, palms facing each other, shoulders away from your ears, and you're just going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So this is the eyes. Here. So really squeeze your shoulder blades together, and we're just going to do 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the next one is the T's. So your arms are going to be out to the side about a 90 degree angle, thumbs pointing up towards the ceiling. And same thing, focusing on sliding your shoulders down and then sliding your shoulders back. So these are the T's. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Get those shoulder blades pinching together. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And the last one here on the ground is going to be a W, so it's kind of like a horizontal pull-up motion. You're going to start with your hands up top and then pull your shoulder blades down like you're trying to drag your shoulder blades into your opposite back pocket, so kind of a diagonal down. So here's the Ws. One, two, three, four, five, Six, squeeze those shoulder blades down and back. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so then just take a little break. I like to do the cat cows and then come back to the I, C's, and W. So we'll do that right here. Okay, so the cat cow here, just inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. I think four more. This is just to give your shoulder blade muscles a little bit of a break before you go back into that second set of I's, T's, and W's. And this should just be a quick little workout that you can do during a break from work just to keep your upper back and your neck moving and grooving. Motion is lotion, you like to say. Okay, good, so that's it for the cat cow. So we'll go back down and do another round of the I's, T's, and W's. It's really important that throughout all those three exercises, you keep your shoulders away from your ears. Your shoulders and ears are not friends, so don't let them hang out. Okay, so just so you can see it from the side this time, we'll do it from the side. So we'll start with the eyes. One, two, slide those shoulder blades together. So really sliding, pinching your shoulder blades together instead of just lifting your arm. Four more. Nine, ten. Quick break, set up for the T's. Shoulders away from ears, thumbs up. Again, squeezing those shoulder blades together instead of just lifting your arms up. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then the last one's the W, so starting with your arms up a little higher. And you're sliding your shoulders down into your opposite back pocket. So really trying to get that shoulder blade slide down your back. There we go. One, two, three. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and that was it for your two rounds of I, C's, and W's, and you can always do a third round of the cat cows and the I, C's, and W's if you have time, um, but two sets of 8 to 10 is a really good starting point just to get everything moving and grooving back there. So the last thing I like to do after working those kind of shoulder blade muscles is a nice little stretch for them, and I call this one thread the needle. So the first thing is we're going to come onto all fours. So you're going to start on all fours, reach one arm up, and thread the arm through, and your goal is to get the back of your head and the back of your shoulder blade down on the ground. Then come out of it, and you can repeat on the other side, reach up, and then try and get the back of this shoulder blade down on the ground as you rotate your body here. And then you can also hold it for a little bit longer if you'd like. I'll show you from the side here. So you're going to reach up, open up your chest, reach under, trying to get the back of that shoulder blade on the ground. Inhale. As you exhale, try to push a little farther into the stretch. And you can repeat on the other side. So inhale. And then as you exhale, reach under, try and get the back of that shoulder blade on the ground, inhale, and as you exhale, reach a little bit farther into that twist. Okay? So that was it for our quick little 10 minute upper back and neck workout for people who work at a desk. Hopefully that helps you kind of manage those tight upper back and neck symptoms from sitting on a desk all day. And that's a quick little 10 minute workout that you can sprinkle in throughout your day just to help you have better posture and less kind of strain in the upper back and neck. All right. Thanks for joining me.